right on. Look at that, you guys, right there. We are doing pizza bagels today on the show with the Shemmies. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us, you guys. We're rocking and rolling, and welcome to the show. I love you all. It's fantastic. So who doesn't love a bagel, eh? So we're going to do some pizza bagel Shemmy style. We got some garlic and some olive oil. And then what I do here, you guys, is I got some Italiano sausage yeah, right there for you. Now what you do with these is I, I make my meatballs out of these with uh, beef or whatever. Mix it in. This stuff is so good. This is Johnsonville, by the way. Johnsonville, fantastic product. Can't tell you. I just start pinching that in there like that. And uh, just pinch it up, let it buck, squish them down. Not a big deal. Then I fire in the ham, just like so. Pepperoni goes in. And we just start letting that cook, you guys. And then we're gonna add our tomato sauce. We got some oregano, black pepper, some uh, onion flakes, you name it, some Parmesan cheese. It's all going in that sauce. And of course, at the end of the day, it's all going on that bagel. So let me get this rocking and rolling and I'll show you how we blend the sauce together here in a few minutes. And uh, we'll get them bagel toasting too. Right on. Hey everybody, welcome back you guys. Here we are. Johnny, get a little close up of that right there for me, John. Would you do that? Look at that, you guys. Right there, pepperoni, ham, that Johnsonville sausage. When, once you get it cooking, you guys, you just break it up a little bit. Break it up, let it cook quick, and uh, renders in with that pepperoni and that ham, I'll tell you, and them garlic chunks. Oh, so good. You want them garlic chunks kind of crispy? That's just fantastic. The guys should almost bag those garlic chunks crispy like that, I'll tell you what, fantastic. So now we're gonna whip up our sauce here, you guys. I use tomato soup. I'll tell you why in my pizza sauces, it's just so creamy, and I build it myself, and it's good and strong. It's like a good, ouch, strong tomato paste. That's why you always take the lid off the can. And uh, anyhow, it's just got great flavor, you guys, and it's fantastic. Do that. Onion flakes, want a little bit of that flavor in there. Black pavar, which is French for pepper. Is that correct, John? That's correct. Okay, we got some Italiano right there. I love lots, do lots of oregano, you guys. Oregano just, oh, it's so aromatic. It just pulls such a good flavor. It's like you're sitting right in a pizza oven. And uh, Parmigiano, good shot, good healthy shot of Parmigiano. And then what I do here is I use a little of this sprinkle right there, just to thicken that up. So I got that, pepper, oregano. Now here's the most important ingredient, is a little bit of sugar. Brown or white, it don't matter. I use brown because it thickens it, thickens it a little bit in the process but you want that sweet ring in there. I'll tell you what, with all that good spicy meat and everything in there, you want the sweet ring, sweet and savory right there. Fantastic. Now, we'll turn that down a little bit and we'll just start mixing and fixing here, you guys. And I'm gonna show you how we do her. There you go, just like so. Now you can let this go all day, all afternoon, whatever, it don't matter. You want it thick, you guys, because, and you don't want too much sauce, and I'll tell you why I've learned it. Uh, the hard way by testing, taste testing them. Uh, you don't want the sauce squirting out your ears and all over the place. You don't want to go through a roll of bounty because uh, just too, too much sauce. So you want the meat to be thick, eh? It's almost like a sloppy joe, but not not quite. Like it's uh, it's pizza, of course. But uh, just yeah, thick. Thick is better, anyways. Okay, you guys. There. Now you just bring that up to temp a little bit. Render that brown sugar down. Now have a look here. Nicely, nicely toasted that bagel. Just have a look, get a close up of that, John. Oh, I love it when you guys are hanging with the chamois. Just, it's all about good fun cooking. So I'm just gonna toast this other one up and get two on the go. And here we are. It's time, it's time to, uh, good call, John. Thank you for telling me to turn that on. Okay, so um, I'm gonna just show you how I do up mine. You can use mushrooms, pineapples, black olives, whatever you wanna put in here, lettuce, you name it. Uh, the chamois just went with what we kind of had here today. We didn't feel like getting out to the store. We were busy. So I'm going to just go with what I had. But to remember, mushrooms, pineapples, all good. Black olives, more onion if you want. So you just lay a little bit in there. Now this is a good, strong, solid, hearty sauce, you guys. So you just want to take it like that. I'll show you a little trick here. So I don't know if you like tomatoes. If you don't, don't put them in. That's the way we roll at the chamois. So what I like to do here, myself, I'm going to cut one a little bit thinner. You don't want them too thick, but what this is going to do, you guys, it's going to freshen that. And then what you do is you just take a little shot ski of that. Just like so. Just like so. And don't go anywhere on me while we're at it. Just a couple of those right there. Get a close-up of that, Johnny. Get a close-up of that, Johnny. Look at that, you guys. That is just fantastic. Man, is that going to be good. And then you just do this, okay? Nothing, nothing to it right there. I'm gonna put that one aside there for some pictures, fantastic. Don't go anywhere, Johnny. I'm gonna skim over here. 
Now I'm gonna show you guys another really good trick. And the kids were eating that. I said, you guys, you got a whole lot of that. Darn it, you know what I did, you guys? I'll tell you what I did. I'm gonna just do this real quick while you're all here, because I love you all. Don't blame me, don't blame me. I was just so excited you guys were here watching the show. Don't blame me. Now this is optional. This is optional because you do have a lot of Parmesan cheese and stuff going on in that sauce, okay? But you know what? You just push that down and in there and that's gonna melt in just like so. Look at that. Look at that. Beauty. That wasn't very good, eh? Pizza bagel merry-go-round there for you right there. Just make sure you got the thumbs handy. Okay, now this one here, you guys, is rocking and rolling. And I'm gonna show you a little something that's great. You can use Doritos, but I like to top it with this wonderful product. Uh, Ruffles Double Crunch Jalapeno Cheddar. Oh, the ketchup's even better. But these here are fantastic. I crush these up and put them in my meatballs, in my spaghetti burger, whatever I'm doing. So good. Such a nice flavor. Great job on them Double Crunch chips. You're not just stopping at one. I'll tell you that. Way to go, Ruffles. That's fantastic. So I'm just giving this a second here. Don't get me in my sweatpants. I'm just going to make a break. And I'm going to grab another plate. And while I'm at it, I got a, I got a little shout out here I'd like to give. I actually got two today, but I'll start with this one here. Filthy Lee's right there, hot sauce. Filthy Lee's hot sauce. This stuff, you guys, is fantastic. I dropped that in some chili the other night. Wow, fantastic. Locally sourced as well, so right on. Great job, Lee, I'd like to thank you for this. Fantastic. Go check him out, he's on Instagram, Facebook, all around there, all the social media outlets. I will tag him and throw it in uh, on my page as well, you guys. So, next. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, look at that. Look at that just sizzling there, Johnny. Just get a close-up. Right on. That's fantastic, you guys. I'm just going to show you guys here now. So drop another good handful of that in there. This time I won't forget the cheese. Well, you don't need cheese, though, but if, if you don't want cheese, don't, don't, don't put it in. And then what I do here, you guys, I just layer some of these beautiful... Just listen to this. Double crunch. Oh, Sammy. Mmm, hanging with the chamois. The just layer that in there. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Layer it in there, don't be shy, you guys. You can crunch them up, you can use Doritos too. But, I go with the ruffles. Look at that. Now what you do, push that down, put that on a plate, just like so. Let that sit there for a second, just to let that cheese soften up. And uh, I'll meet you at the table here in about two seconds. Thank you, guys. Here we are, you guys. Best part of the show right here, the taste testing. I'll tell you what, pizza bagels with the shemmies, just fantastic, absolutely fantastic, you guys. We got that uh, beautiful, with the double crunch, just have a look, jalapeno and cheddar. And we got our tomato. Tomato, put it in there, a little refreshing, you guys. A little lettuce goes good in there, too. And I'll tell you what, that's just fantastic. We got some ranch drizzled in there, just to make it a little extra creamy. And uh, I'm gonna just, I hate doing this in front of you guys. Mmm, man, hold up, show the, show the wonderful people that. Oh, you guys, oh, that brown sugar. Oh, you guys just do not know. That is so good. I so wish you guys could try these. I just, you don't know that good. And, uh, oh, wow. I, well, uh, you know what? I'll hold off. That's fantastic. I don't want to, I don't want to uh, make you guys too hungry, but look at that one too. Look at the chips in there, just looking back at you, smiling and winking. Ooh, right on you guys. Well, you guys have got a special shout out here today. I'd like to uh, wish Brad Walker down on Vancouver Island a very, very happy birthday. Big fan of the show. Thanks for always watching, Brad. Jamie, Chad, Michael, Lorraine, give Brad a great big hug for me. Birthday hug, say right on. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time.